seven dollars not eleven hundred get the payment plan because it's a lot of money so much so keeping it what, is, what am i doing with these numbers <laughs> horrible mistake hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing great today so today's video is one that i've been wanting to film and planning and working on for a while and it's a what i spent in the week so we're gonna go over everything that i spent this past week this is gonna go from a monday to sunday and yeah i will just take you guys through what i spend there are obviously some parameters i'm only including things that are not like recurring bills so like car payment car insurance you know tea like phone like none of those kinds of expenses are in here this is just like discretionary spending for the most part um and kind of like one-off expenses so that's what i'm going to be showing and yeah i'll include some clips of what i could get but i'll just kind of walk you through day by day and we'll see what i spent so um if you guys are new here like i said my name is stephanie and i hope you guys consider subscribing if you like the content um yeah and with that let's get it as a disclaimer i'm not joining this stuff to like either brag or rub in anybody's face or even shame anybody or anything like that like i'm just doing it because a i'm nosy and i love watching other people's videos so i wanted to do something similar a good check for myself to kind of see where i'm at in budget not even necessarily budgeting but just kind of see where i'm at because as you're kind of spending 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 throughout the week you kind of have a sense of like what you're spending but not until you actually see some hard numbers at least for me i like to see the hard numbers so um yeah that's the reason behind it i don't want anybody to take this the wrong way or anything like that just to let you know just a disclaimer and i never want to make anybody feel bad that for whatever end of the spectrum everybody's situation is different you know i am 29 in denver i have a partner we have a townhome and a dog so like our situation is going to be different than anybody else's situation so just keep that in mind okay disclaimer over let's get into it okay so i'll be looking at my laptop going over my little spreadsheet here and the first day we're gonna start from like i said monday through sunday monday monday is my grocery shopping day i like to go during my lunch break on mondays so and i went to trader joe's and levers levers is like a local grocery store here and i typically don't do two grocery stores but you know sometimes you go to trader joe's they don't have everything so that's why i needed to go to the other place and Trader Joe's, I spent $123.46. And then I also popped over to the wine section and spent $11, not $1,100, $11.32 $11 um, on some two buck chuck. It is now $4.99 chuck because inflation. Um, so yeah, I spent that. And then when I went over to Levers, I spent $24.92. Um, just on a couple of things like more name brand things or joe's doesn't carry and then i also had to get gas so that was 44 dollars 17 bringing my monday total to 203 dollars 87 and all of that as you just heard was you know necessity spending so ugh, not great but here we are and remember this is for two people that i shop for tuesday tuesday i only spent money one time and it was kind of a lot though so there is a uh youtube channel and they also have like i don't know they just happen to have a youtube channel but it's this company called sidewalker daily and they help um content creators influencers that kind of thing on the business side of their business i guess and there was a course that i did on tuesday now like a free course about like pitching and then they offered like special discounted pricing for their like big course um and so i did the payment plan because it's a lot of money i did 99 dollars 25 for that and i'm count i'm counting that in like the miscellaneous category just because it didn't really fit into any of my other categories so tuesday 99 dollars 25 cents okay and then wednesday wednesday i spent Wednesday um, came out of my account is $16.63 for book of the month. Book of the month, you know, is the monthly book subscription that I love. And that was on a recurring basis. So you pick a book, the new books open like the first day of the month. So I picked a book like that first week of March, usually the second week or the end of the first week, second week, they ship it out and then they charge you for it like the 20-ish something of the month. So 
Um, yeah, I don't have, I used to have way more subscriptions and I definitely like brought them down. Mainly all my subscriptions are like TV related. Um, but this is the only one that's like miscellaneous and I love it. I could never, I mean, I could if I really had to give up my book of the month. I just love it so much. So keeping it. Thursday. So as you kind of see, Monday grocery shopping, Tuesday, Wednesday, not so much because I'm literally at home. Thursday, so I did not make dinner and we went out for dinner. We went to this barbecue place, Post Oak Barbecue, that's near us. And we spent $49.06 there. Thursday, that was my total, $49.06. Friday, we start really kicking it off into the dining out. So Friday, I spent $135 for my dog. He, we take him to this like canine rehab place because long story less long, he has like a partial tear in his like doggy version of an ACL. And so we take him to this dog therapy place to kind of help strengthen his legs. We're trying to avoid surgery. So anyway, that was $135 that is covered by our pet insurance. We have nationwide pet insurance. So I'm not really counting that because I get that money back in full, but I just wanted to mention it. And then Friday, we also went out for dinner. Um, we went to this Mexican, I guess not Mexican, this Latin restaurant called El Jefe and spent $35.37 there. So kind of how the dining out kind of splits. Sometimes we split it evenly. Sometimes like he'll get it or the next time I'll get it. Like, so there's not really a rhyme or reason. Some of these dining out costs are split, but then as you see, as I'll get to some other ones, like I, t I covered the bill he covered the bill for something else. So that's kind of how we do it. My Friday total was $35.37 because of the dinner. Come Saturday, Sunday, I, yeah, we really ramp up. Okay, so Saturday, my Patreon subscription came out of my account and that was 59, what is, what am I doing with these numbers? $15.59. The one Patreon podcast I subscribe to is Two Black Girls, One Rose again here i was saying that i don't have many subscriptions these are literally i think my two and these two are like my absolute favorite i would give up tv all that stuff as long as i could have these two justine and natasha amazing if you guys like reality tv if you love like kikiing with your girls if you love talking about reality tv this is the podcast for you so shout out to them they're amazing um we also went to the mall because we needed to return something and ugh, it's annoying, but the mall that's near us, you have to pay $2 for parking. So two bucks for parking at the mall. And then in terms of dining out, we went to this restaurant Highland Tap for dinner and I spent $69.67 there. And then afterward we went to a cocktail bar, but what there's this cocktail, it's like a speakeasy and it's literally been around in Denver for years williams and graham and i just have never been there before it was never it at a certain point it is really hard to get in and we just happened to like okay we're here in this area let's go see if we can get in we got in it was good i liked it but like i don't know the older i'm getting guys the less i'm wanting to spend on like 16 dollars cocktails and i'd rather buy you know my two buck chuck and just enjoy that bottle of wine that's kind of more my vibe but you know what Saturday night, let's do it. We did it. Um, yeah, so that brings my Saturday total to $128.68. And then, um, okay, it's a lot of spending on Saturday. And to round off the week, Sunday, we went to Sunday morning, we went to get um, breakfast. He covered that. And then we stopped by this bakery that we really liked. It's got really good vanilla, uh, vanilla lattes and vanilla lattes are pretty basic, but this place puts like the vanilla bean, like right on top. So good. So good. So $29 and 28 cents there on two coffees and a couple of desserts. Um, I mean, baked goods. Afterward, like we went on a hike with our dog and then the hike that we did is by this brewery called New Terrain. And we went there after the hike and that was $17 and 12 cents. It was so nice on Sunday. So it was nice to be outside, but it was pretty crazy. And then, God, this one I'm including, but I did just get my money back. We had Chipotle for dinner and we haven't had Chipotle in like 
eight months easily, maybe a year. It's never, I really don't crave Chipotle and the one near us is like not great. Like it's always like a bunch of teenagers in there and like the food's never like bleh, but it had been a while. So we're like, okay, let's give it a shot. Horrible mistake, <laughs> horrible mistake. It was so bad guys. When I, I, okay, first of all, I spent $30 and 61 cents. When I got there, I placed the order online. When I got there, um, it wasn't like, you know, in those like shelves that they have with the orders and the names, it wasn't there. And I was like, okay, this is typical of this place. They're never usually ready. I go up, I say my name and she's like, okay, we're a little bit behind, but it'll be in a second. Um, and I'm like, okay, no problem. You're just doing your job. No complaints here. I proceed to wait like 30 minutes, I think. And then there's like 10 other people also waiting with me. And so I don't know what the breakdown in the communication was, but they were very slow to get things out. And the people that were actually in the Chipotle, like ordering in person, you could only pay exact change. So they like, their POS was broken. And so that was another stress. And I was like, oh God, let me just get my food and get out of here. Get the food, get home. Tell me why the rice is undercooked. The rice is crunchy, crunchy. And I got a bowl, he got a bowl. So it's like, it's it's all rice. So that was bad. The guacamole on it was brown. It was just all around, not good. So I disputed with Chipotle and I'll be getting my money back any day now. So that brings my Sunday total to $77.01. That brings my weekly total for what I spent to $609.87. And I feel like that's kind of high. I don't have anything to compare it to because I don't track it by the week, but I was looking at that number and I was like, hmm, because do you ever just think back and you're like, no way did I spend $600 in one week, but so groceries was like almost a third of that. So that kind of makes sense. Um, a couple subscriptions, like this miscellaneous purchase for that program. But the big boy is definitely dining out and I'll pop up my little cute graph here, but definitely dining out is my big category. Um, so it's just interesting to see. And it makes me think of like, okay, in this economy that we're in, maybe I should like bump up my grocery budget a little bit more and do a couple more meals in because I'm thinking like, gosh, guys, this Chipotle meal was so bad. $30. Yes, I'm getting my money back. But if I had put that money, $30 into my grocery bill, I would have a had a better food made it myself and I don't even think I'd have spent like $30 on whatever I needed I could have bought like an extra protein and I already had like pasta I don't you know what I mean so things like that that kind of help you analyze like hmm there's different ways that I could maybe restructure this if I feel like it's too high or there's areas I want to cut back on so yeah guys okay guys that was my what I spend in a week I hope this was interesting for you guys I mean I like to watch these just because I'm nosy and I want to see like what people are spending especially in like different cities and it's more just like not even educational it's just fun to kind of know about I'm not giving any financial advice I'm not trying to stunt anything like that guys I work a day job so don't get it twisted but um yeah so I hope you guys found it interesting at least and if you guys like this kind of content and if you want to see more let me know i love this kind of stuff don't forget to like comment subscribe join in the fam it's a good time over here and yeah guys with that i will see you in the next one